Let me just say that after hearing Leanda Delp's stewardship minute and realizing I would have to follow her this week, I decided the only thing I could do was try to contract COVID. All week long, I've licked doorknobs and hugged coughing strangers, but alas, no COVID, so here I go anyways. These stewardship minutes we have heard over the years from our friends of Saint, at St. James always warm my heart and confirm for me while after 20 years, I'm still a member. Now, most of the touching stories are personal reflections shared on how the people of St. James have met them in their need for comfort or their time of challenge, and yes, in their times of joy. But I want to talk today about people who we will probably never meet, but this church building has touched in a very Christ way. A couple of months ago, as I was leveraging the empty church parking lot and a few random orange street cones I found to help teach my son to parallel park, I am convinced that he passed his test because of our time in the St. James parking lot. But on this recent Friday afternoon during a parallel parking session, I noticed a town family with their two young kids enter our playground to have some simple refreshing fun. With swing sets and slides and laughter and some local ice cream would be their memorable evening in these COVID days and the St. James building stood watching over this family. I couldn't help but smile at their moments in our playground. This moment of reflection made me consider the multitude of people who have found this property at the corner of Bellevue and Valley to be memorable, comforting, and refreshing refuge. In the pre-COVID days when our church doors were swung open during the, during the week, the many countless of people over the years who we will never meet have entered alone to her open sanctuary just to take rest in their day or take leave of their concerns and to take comfort in their troubled times or maybe just a moment to see this grand old lady's beauty on the inside. On another random afternoon this summer, I happened to see a young family decide to have a picnic on our front lawn. And as they laid out their baskets and blanket and spread out their lunch, I happened to glance at my watch and saw that not only were the bells about to toll noon, but Sean would be playing up next. I walked over to the young family with a gentle warning about what was about to happen as they were sitting so very close. But you know, as those bells began to chime, those kids stopped eating their lunch and just gazed up to listen. Let us not forget the, the St. James has long been a safe place for our middle schoolers from Buzz Aldrin to hang out on Friday afternoons and, and just be middle schoolers. Odin, my new giant dog, and I met a young family living one street over a few weeks ago. And as Odin got scratches from the two kids, the mom and dad and I began to chat. Our conversation turned to St. James. I immediately, the mother asked, when is a thrift store going to reopen? My daughter and I love to go there when we're uptown. I could usually find a necklace or a toy for my daughter for a dollar or two. I have over the years had the honor to happen upon a stranger sitting in the memorial garden, talking with a loved one whose ashes are buried there. And none of what I'm sharing is new. Did you know we have old black and white photos of some of these same things happening, hanging in our library? The list of how this building, this building that your hard earned money is given to keep her whole is too long to share in this stewardship moment. But I want us to meditate for a moment on how this grand old lady and how she truly does what Christ has called her and us to do as she has quietly and without complaint opened her arms to those in need. And truly those words we recite that all are welcome in this place is more than the sanctuary. Remember it is Christ and his outstretched arms that is hanging in the doorway entrance of this building. And surely they are stretching out to welcome everyone, not just to the sanctuary, but to into his bosom at the corner of Bellevue Avenue and Valley Road. Amen.